Hello and welcome back to Core Finance. I'm Matt Brown. I'm joined by Mike Van Dorken, who is Head of Research at Ascendo Markets. And we're looking at the DAX. Um, been a bit out of favour of late, but seems to, um, seems to have picked up again. What's, what's the story behind this? It has. It's, it's perked up uh, remarkably, actually. Uh, most lately, I think, helped by the fact that sterling was so strong into the end of last week. The reciprocal of that is that dented the euro a bit. And a weaker euro helps Germany and its ar army of industrials mm -hmm. and autos who are big exporters and makes their goods a bit cheaper for others to buy. So that's helped, especially here with that breakout from this that sideways range we saw over the last last week or so. And that could mean we're on for a uh, what we call a another bullish flag. So we have a, a sharp upwards move, a period of consolidation, which can be sideways or slightly downwards. Once you break out above that, you could repeat the initial up move, which could take us above 12,700 to not quite summer highs, but back towards its all-time highs of 12,900 towards the back end of June. So that, that's one to keep an eye on. Um, uh, this is backed up by the fact that the, uh, the, uh, the relative strength indicator is holding right near the upper range, and that remains bullish. Yes, it was technically overbought, where we see the little bit of red shading, but um, but it's not as if it came straight from being oversold. So it could well stay there for a good while longer if the, uh, if the DAX wants to, to push on higher. So this week, for example, if we get a very hawkish Fed, mm -hmm. it could strengthen the dollar, weaken the euro, another bit of help. If, um, if Mr. Mr. Carney this afternoon offers any, any more hints that adds, adds fuel to the, the sterling fire, again, that could push the euro south. And again, another reason for the DAX to push on. And we saw with uh, after uh, Macron was elected in France, and the markets actually took that as a positive. Yep. We're looking ahead to German Indeed. elections as well, and, and one hopes that if the market gets what it expects mm -hmm. from, from Angela Merkel, yes. then um, that could as well be another bullish um, put or see an, a, a bullish kind of push higher for, uh, for for the DAX on the back of that as well. Yeah, I mean after should we say a run of political surprises, I think markets would be. <laughs> we quite like to to uh, to have the status quo. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not to say you know the the Macron was a bad result, but it did it did mean change, and with change comes risk. Mm -hmm. I think the fact you see Merkel go in for a fourth term, Marcus would kind of be okay. We can deal with this. She is seen as one of the you know the, she is by many seen as the almost the, the leader of Europe. Mm -hmm. They're quite happy to see a. a uh, a situation of no change is, is a good one and uh, knowing that she'll be in that position for, for another several years to allow them to assume that the German economy stays on a good stable footing. Understood. Mike, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.